Durumlara hoş geldiniz. Welcome to Cases. You're going to want to take notes on this lesson because you're going to use it for the rest of your life. <laughs> Just like everything we do, but... All right. Cases. In a lot of languages, cases are used to show direction or almost a preposition. In Turkish, we use it as prepositions and also to show how verbs interact with each other and with nouns. <laughs> so that kind of sounds crazy um, and super linguistic, uh, but let's see an example of this. We have cases kind of in English that are separate words, but in Turkish they're just suffixes. So for example, if you're going to say to or towards, you use a or e. It's two-way vowel harmony and an optional y depending on if the word ends in a vowel or not. So, if you're going to say, I pray to God, let's just focus on this part here, to God. What's the word for God? Tanrı. How do you say to God? It would be Tanrıya. Okay. Because Tanrı ends in a vowel, it needs a Y. It can't, you can't say Tanrıha. You have to say Tanrıya. It's easier. How do you say, I pray to God? Remember the word for pray and aorist tense. Tandria dua ederim. Okay. Let's look at this case. We call it dative. Um, you can imagine anything that's going to or towards. Like if you go to church, for example, you can use it for that. But let's look where we have this in the basic core. Mormon kitabının doğruluğu hakkında Tanrı'ya dua ederek sorar mısınız? Look at that. Will you pray to God? Tanrı'ya dua ederek sorar mısınız? Do you see anything else on this page that might be the dative case? I'll give you a minute to look. All right, we have hazır lanmanıza, okay, and we also have kiliseye, to church, and to preparation, okay, already, now that's dative, we also have another case, we have six or seven cases that are fairly simple in Turkish, this one is probably the hardest one, so pay attention. All right, in English, when you say you love something, we don't put a case on it. It's invisible. But the fact of the matter is that in English, when you say, I love God, God is actually accusative, we call it in linguistics. It's a direct object of the verb to love, because it's receiving it directly, right? This verb is directly loving this noun, okay? Guess how you would say this? If you have the word for God, and the word for, change this to Turkish, and the word for love, it would be Tanrıyı seviyorum. Or, Tanrıya severim. Both work. Okay. So, if you're doing something directly to something, I love, I like, I kick, I, well, not I kick, um, I, I teach, I uh, open, I eat, I read, I write something, you just put this suffix to show that you are doing that verb to directly at that noun, okay? Don't get this confused with to or towards. Some verbs we use this case, some verbs we use this case. Sevmek loves the accusative case. If you have sevmek, you are almost always going to use this 
uh, e u or u case, okay? Also the word bilmek. How would you say I know God? You can use the same case. Tanrıyı biliyorum. Or bilirim. Or maybe even better than that, you could say tanıyorum or tanırım. I know him as a person, right? I know him personally. So that's when we're going to use the accusative. So let's look in Embark to see where you can see the accusative case here. It's either going to be ö, ü, ü, or ü. Alrighty, look at this. Kutsamana diliyoruz. We ask thee to bless us with thy spirit. We ask that you bless. These are the verbs acting together. So we use the accusative taste case. All right, here as well. Yoldashimu kutsa. Bless my companion, right? We don't say bless to my companion, bless with my companion or anything. We say bless my companion. It's a direct object. What's the direct object? It's yoldashim. So you put the uh here. It marks that accusative. It means that kutsa is directly kutsing yoldashim. <laughs> Does that make sense? All right. Here as well. Dualarımızı dinler. In Turkish, you don't listen to something. You listen something. Okay. Dinlemek. He listens our prayers. That's just how it is in Turkish. We can do a little bit more practice with this using uh, some more phrases and vocab from Embark. So, uh, how would you say, I want Jesus? I want Jesus. Istemek, remember, can mean to want. İsa'yı istiyorum. İsa'yı istiyorum. How would you say, I want my mom? Annemi istiyorum. Annemi istiyorum. How would you say, I am hearing the spirit? Or I am feeling the spirit. Kutsal ruhu duyuyorum. You could also use hissediyorum. Both of these verbs love the accusative tense. Duymak and hissetmek. Okay, let's switch over to some verbs that love the dative. Some of these verbs are öğretmek, yardım etmek, gitmek, gelmek, katılmak, kitap etmek. Okay. How would you say, and this is to address if you didn't remember, to join, to come, to go, to help, to teach. In Turkish, you don't teach someone, you teach to someone. Okay. How would you say, if you're teaching Ahmet, I am teaching Ahmet. I am teaching Ahmet. Ahmet'e öğretiyorum. I am teaching Ahmet. How would you say, I am helping Ahmed? Ahmed'e yardım ediyorum. How would you say, I am going to church? Kiliseye gidiyorum. How would you say, I am coming to church? Kiliseye geliyorum. How would you say? I am 
joining to church. In Turkish, you don't join something, you join to something. Kiliseye katılıyorum. How would you say, I address Ahmet? Ahmet'e hitap ediyorum. Just a fun fact, uh, in the Islam class, President Toronto talked about uh, khutbah. Khutbah. This is this word actually comes from that uh, Arabic root. Khataba. So I'll write that out. It's khataba. Uh, Khutba. Um, so khataba means to address in Arabic, and a khutba is a sermon. Um, in Turkish, I think it's hutbe or yeah, hutbe, a sermon. So in Turkish, you don't address someone; you address to someone. All right. In the next video, we'll practice more combining cases and verbs to make awesome sentences.